everyone, my name is Shaylin and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought I'd kind of bring back a video that I did last summer, which was a cook with me video. It is a part of my how to hemiplegia series. My French toast recipe is super easy and foolproof and I feel like self-explanatory for a lot of people. The main thing that I wanted to show you guys was how I crack an egg with one hand. <laughs> I wanted to think of something that I could make with eggs so that I could show you guys how I open an egg with one hand. Um, even though there's plenty of tutorials out there, I just thought for the girls with really tiny hands like me and it's hard to kind of grip an egg, I would show you guys how I do it. So let's get started because I'm actually really hungry. And yes, breakfast for dinner is delicious let's start with the things you'll need first of all you're gonna need a pan you're also going to need a whisk a spatula um something to measure a fourth of a cup a big mixing bowl you're gonna need tongs and a plate oh and you need a butter knife i forgot And then for ingredients you're gonna need bread obviously cinnamon coffee creamer and eggs. You need butter too. Um, I'm just making enough for me, so I'm gonna make four pieces of toast. So you'll need four pieces of bread and three eggs. Now, normally I just eyeball a lot of this, but because I'm doing a recipe for you guys, I personally hate it when people say that they're just eyeballing it because that doesn't really give me much room for understanding. So I'm gonna actually measure out things today. Let's start with the eggs. So like I said, you'll need three. One, two, three. And I'm gonna start another camera so that you guys can see a close up of this. I tried opening eggs with really small hands with a spoon, a fork, and nothing works the same as a butter knife, so that is what I use. So basically, first what I do is take the egg, I put it down on a flat surface, I take the back side of the butter knife, so not the side with the like sharp part, um, the back side that's smooth, and I hit it right in the middle of the egg, right here so that it cracks easier and I do hit it pretty hard and I go pretty much all the way around to the sides so that I can see some of the insides coming out. Actually, I'm going to do this on top of a cloth so that it doesn't roll as much. So you can start seeing some of the egg white coming out and then from there I pretty much stick my fingers inside and break it more with my hand and then just pull it apart like that. I'm gonna try it again because that one the yolk broke but I mean it doesn't really matter for french toast but basically I grip the egg just like this. I kind of stick my thumb in and pull up that way while I'm kind of pulling back with these fingers on the other side. So let's try it again. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, okay. Just like that. That was a perfect one. I don't know why that literally broke perfectly. Don't know, but that was lucky. That doesn't usually happen, just so you guys know. Perfect. That one was really good too. Next, I'm gonna add the creamer. And this is just the Coffee Mate um, French vanilla, I think. This is a one fourth of a cup. I'm gonna fill this up. Okay. And without spilling, Drop it in. 
that should be enough. I'm not sure because I don't usually do measurements. This one, I'm not going to measure because I don't have small measurements, but probably like a tablespoon or like two teaspoons. Not a whole lot, but enough. Then you're going to take your whisk and just start whisking. <laughs> Normally French toast recipes call for like vanilla, like extract and brown sugar and things like that. Um, I wanted to make French toast one day and I didn't have any of that in my cupboard. So I had um, coffee creamer and I was like, that has vanilla in it. So it just kind of worked out for me. Once you're done whisking, everything should be very blended. But I will say the cinnamon doesn't totally blend in. It's like chunked up and I'll show you what I mean. So it looks like a light yellow color with a bunch of brown specks in it. That's fine, that's what it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna take the bread, the mixture, the plate, the tongs and the spatula over there. I'm gonna take my butter. I'm gonna turn on my burner to about medium heat. I'm gonna take, I don't really know how to describe how much butter I'm taking, but it's about that much. I'm just gonna throw it on the pan and let that grease up the pan a little. While that's finishing melting, I'm going to take the mixture, kind of give it a little shake. Um, get my bread ready. I'm going to grab four slices of bread. You can get fancy sourdough or brioche bread to do this with, but personally, this is just uh, cheap and what's in my pantry, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to grab my first slice and I'm going to put it in right in the mixture. I'm going to take the tongs flip it over I like using tongs just so that it keeps my hands like semi clean while I'm doing this I'll let it drip a little bit obviously you can tell it's like very saturated and put it right in and I'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit not too too much I'm gonna do the same thing put a piece of bread in It's about a medium high temperature now. I feel like you can start seeing that it's cooked when you can slide it pretty easily. So I use the spatula to essentially just flip them over. piece of bread in just to kind of get it ready to go when I take those off. Okay, so now this one should be ready. Thank you. 
to be honest, I normally just do two eggs. Um, but I've noticed the past couple times that I've made this recipe, two eggs didn't quite make four slices. It was just a little bit not enough of the mixture. So I put three. You are going to have extra. You could totally make five with this, I think. I think there would be enough for five. Okay, now. This one's definitely ready. slices, turn off the burner, put that over, put these over the sink. I have my toast all ready to go. There is one thing I wanted to try to make this like a little bit more cool. So you see in restaurants, I think normally they do like a powder, what is that called? Like the powdered sugar, I think it's, I think it's called that. I don't have powdered sugar is what I'm trying to say. So, I heard on TikTok, I think, that if you blend it, um, it makes powdered sugar. I'm going to do three just to make sure that it blends nicely. Never done this before, so we'll see. Oh my god, I think that totally worked. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna prepare my toasts how I would normally prepare them. I use maple syrup and butter and apparently powdered sugar now too. And done. So now what I like to do is plate them nicely. I don't know what the word is. Okay, that's how I like them to look. So I'm gonna grab my syrup and I'm just gonna drizzle it all on. And now for the powdered sugar. Okay. All right, you guys, that was my video of how I make my version of French toast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on all my socials linked in the description down below. And I will see you next week for another new video. I'll take a bite for you guys just so you know though how it is. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I was so hungry making this video. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this because I'm going to literally devour this in two seconds. So, okay, bye. <laughs>